Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Devin and today as you kind of saw for a brief second uh well Minecraft just recently updated. It's just an extra little bug update again of course because you know there's always got to be a million bug updates for Minecraft uh <laughs> but honestly I can't judge them. Anyways, so today we are going to be doing a realm. The only thing I have done on there so far is I have looted a... Because there's a village at spawn. I have looted a little bit of a thing. Uh, you'll probably notice later I do have a helmet. It's just a chain helmet. It's just because I killed a skeleton with it on. That's all that is. And I've traveled farther away from spawn, so that way I don't have to really worry about too much. You will notice I have my coordinates blurred out because this is with other people, of course. And the one who owns the realm actually live streams this whenever they play it and everything. So I will have a link to their... Uh, I'll have a link to their TikTok in the description of this video and most likely any future videos with it. Also, I will note it. I'll I will note because I'm not sure if any of you guys did see this. I put an updated link of both of both discords that I have on my about page in my about like description area instead of my links because I forgot to set the two links for my Discord and whatnot to not expire, so the links that work is in my actual about page writing. It's just because I didn't want to open my laptop up and wait an hour for that thing to load. So that's the only reason I didn't actually change the link. So anyways, Minecraft loves taking a while to load. I know everyone just loves that about Minecraft. It's just super perfect. Also, if anyone's wanting to join this realm, I'm pretty sure the person who owns it is open to it, given the fact that I joined because I was watching and everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're open to it. Uh, but I do know for... For a fact, I'm pretty sure you have to join the Discord and you have to join the TikTok. I've joined both already anyways, but just thought I would mention. So if you're wanting to think of joining it, you're going to most likely have to look in the, the description. I'll probably put it in the chat too and possibly on screen. Not sure if I'll do that. Depends if I can, but... I'll make sure that there's links there and everything, and then you're going to have to go to their TikTok, catch them live and everything or whatnot, or just go into the Discord and whatnot I, and such, but mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I will apologize for any, like, I'm not sure if it sounds like just mild buzzing or whatnot. It's just because my phone vibrates a little bit, and for whatever reason, you can feel, hear something through the phone i even have that on calls but as you can see i am farther away from spawn i'm at my own village i found i just went until i found another village it's just a normal plains biome i'm shocked that there's no one online right now honestly but either way and yeah you can kind of see there's tons of skeletons i have gotten wooden tools i know it's so shocking and a stone pickaxe. I'm not sure if that looks like a stone pickaxe or an iron pickaxe to you guys. But yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I have a decent amount of stuff with this. You know what? I think I'm going to mark this place just so that way I know which house it is. Since I do have a decent amount of yellow wool. And it is only four yellow wool. It doesn't do much. I mean... As much as I know we could make a bed with that, there's also a million beds around. So, yeah. Anyways, we have that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a mining session and whatnot. And of course, pl placing my crafting table down and whatnot. Furnace, etc. 
I didn't know you could, I could craft cookies already. Eh, I never realized that. Yeah, I might as well just do some bread, though. I will mention this is on keep inventory. So if I die, I don't lose my stuff. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a mining session. And I will s probably be talking over the <laughs> thing. Okay, I totally did not notice how fast this was. You can see me getting all the wood from the house. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> I love how I just mined one singular piece of dirt. Yeah, I th I almost forgot to get some wood with me, so that way I had some wood whenever, whenever I went mining, because that is normally a little important, you know? Just because I do not really want to... I do not really want to have to go up or just kill myself, so that way I have to go through that. I, I'm pretty sure during this thing, there was one person who joined the entire time. And they left almost straight away. <laughs> and by the way, I'm pretty sure this is about two minutes or so. For you guys, if you're wondering why it's so long, it's because this was about an hour and a half or so. I think Minecraft needs to make a quicker way so that way you can go down into like deep slate and everything. And I will actually explain where I why I was mining at a certain level for because I I do a few time lapses in this. Just a little heads up, it never hurts. Also, at this point I was hearing zombies, so I'm like, okay, there's gotta be a cave nearby. And of course Still mining. Nothing's found. And there we go. And I totally did not forget to do a staircase as well. And killing spiders, of course, because it's got to kill them, you know. Yeah, I still have to make a staircase to that area, so <laughs> I had to kill myself at the end. Just because I forgot about that, the fact that you need a staircase. This does not look like it's a time lapse. That this just looks like I'm speeding through things. Of course, I I died by the skeleton. See what I mean by keep inventory is on. So there is no achievements on this. But either way, got a decent amount of iron. Got a smelt and whatnot. But yeah, I mean that's basically all I really did in this. So yeah. Okay, so we're done with the time lapse and everything. Um, yeah, I've lit in up a decent amount of things. I do know I need to smelt this iron, though, because if I don't, then I can't get all these different ores around, like the redstone and the gold. For any of you who didn't know, I don't really think it's ever come up in conversation in my past three Minecraft videos, I think. Just, I, I think it's only, like, three-ish or so. But... I do redstone. Of course, there's mobs attacking me. Can you just leave me alone? I'm thinking I might want to do like a wall or something right there. Like, I'm not sure where they're coming from, but I know for sure they're coming from down there, as you can see by these two zombies that are very stupid. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is annoying. Very annoying. One heart. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm doing a wall. I'm, I'm doing a wall. I don't care. I'm doing a wall. And yes, I am doing it this way because I am planning on going down there because it brings me down lower into my coordinates so I don't have to do any, like, strip mining too much until I get to the actual diamond level. But either way, <laughs> that kind of makes it so that way... Oh, yeah, and the zombie's about to come up. Nope, not gonna come. Anyways, let me get to smelting this stuff because, well, that would be kind of important. I can start making some iron armor and whatnot, and I don't even know how much iron I have by this point. I know it's probably under a stack, but... Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to sort out an even amount of iron per thing so that way I can split it into eight different groups and just put them in the furnaces because I have eight furnaces and I'm not making more. So I'm just going to do one coal per spot since I do know one piece of coal can do that and there is more coal in the mine by the way I'm not sure. Couldn't really see that when I was making the staircase down but there is more coal right there so 
And I am planning on also making a tree farm anyways, so... Of course, that would be an AFK tree farm instead of an automatic, but... Either way. <laughs> so, yeah, and by the way, this is Bedrock Edition. <laughs> That's why I had to blur out the coordinates. Because, well... Java Edition doesn't show coordinates unless you manually make it show last I checked. It could be wrong, though. So, but yeah, got all this smelting. Gonna make some... Oh, I almost forgot about something. There is a thing called a shield that I probably want. <laughs> it would be very helpful. So. Anyways. Yeah, I do know I still am gonna want to make another portal. And... At the moment that I'm even recording this part, because this is about a day or two later, trust me, this recording was through a few days. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think anyone's even gotten diamonds yet. And if someone has, I doubt anyone has another portal yet. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm far enough away where I wouldn't connect to it anyways. So, I'm not going to be making a pathway in the nether to it because I really have no use to be going over there and given the fact that I've found that unless the actual person who owns the realm no one else is normally ever on <laughs> I feel like I'm probably gonna mention hey I found the end <laughs> like does anyone want to join <laughs> because honestly that's probably how it's gonna go <laughs> Given the fact that I've I've noticed not many people are playing, and I'm, but yeah, but I think I'm going to oh switch to stone. I think I'm gonna do another time lapse in a moment after mining these furnaces. So because we do kind of need to explore a little bit down there, which we just blocked off. I know, but either way, I will see you guys in that recording. Okay. I know that now I had to break the little bar thing, that wall thing that we just made, but either way, I'm doing this little mining thing. I made, I found the area for the mine because it goes down deep enough to like negative 48, so it gets close enough. So I'm doing a pathway to it. I forgot to fully do the pathway. I'll under, I'll explain that later. And yes, I'm mining at negative 52. I'll explain that later as well. <laughs> Don't. Judge me, I have my reasons. So as you can see, we kind of have a decently long tunnel. It, like, really does take a little bit. I will expand it more, because um, this is just, like, a minute long. But as you can see... Oh, oh, diamonds? Okay, I'm glad I looked. <laughs> Anyways, as I'm going to explain now, I was mining out negative 52 because of the fact... Okay, a lot of you know negative 58 is the diamond hotspot, right? Well, negative 52 will make it so that way if I run into an area that deep dark is, I will run into the actual deep dark. I avoid all lava pools and have more of a chance to finding a cave, and those are normally better at finding diamonds than running into lava every second. So, but I think I'm just gonna expand more of this mining bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's do another time lapse. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find diamonds. Also, I'm not strip mining for a reason, by the way. I want to cover more area because I really just want to see if I can find a another cave. That is normally way more helpful. And yes, I will get that redstone I passed. I will get that in a moment. I just don't want to right now. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to run into a cave in this time lapse, but... Also, fun fact, on my phone, a time-lapse isn't called a time-lapse, it's actually called a hyper-lapse. <laughs> like, I, I, it took me a moment to figure out what exactly it was, because I had no clue, like, what is a hyper-lapse? Anyway, uh, it's the end time-lapse, so... Okay, I have some sad news. Unfortunately, right now, we're having a thunderstorm. It did end up turning out okay. So, there's no issue with that. But I did see my lights flicker at the moment, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna end it for a moment. So, I, I didn't end up ever continuing it, so this is the end of today's video. 
unfortunately. But we did get a decent amount of progress. We got some more diamonds, so we do have enough for a diamond pick in case we ever came across a lava pool or obsidian just in general. Uh, now I'm going to realize the fact that I kind of forgot to continue my pathway up to the actual staircase. So I have no clue where I'm supposed to actually exit at. And of course, I made the staircase wrong as well because, yeah, and I don't have a pickaxe. So I'm just going to have to place gravel here. <laughs> Perfect. Anyways, but, oh, might as well play some gravel right there, too. Anyways, now, how do I want to get up? I think I'll, I'll just, I'll just kill myself, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll look around, see if I can find it real quick. I know it was somewhere up, like, right here, but, honestly, I think I'll probably just, yeah, I mean... I might not. Oh, more area I haven't explored. Looks like I have more iron and whatnot to get. <laughs> Cause the there it looks like there's a lot of iron. Normally, I mean, that's one thing I like about big caves that are um in stone. There's normally a lot of iron. But yeah, yep, there is definitely a lot of iron. I guess if I need iron, just come to this cave. So okay, yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill myself honestly by this point. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to be able to find any thing, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video after I finish killing myself in a block game. <laughs> I know, I know, I know watching me trying to fall from a height is so satisfying to watch. It's just super satisfying. I also like the fact that it's not peaceful, so I'm not regenerating hearts. And I'm happy about that. As much as it's annoying, I'm happy about it. Anyways, I do think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And like I said, do please check out the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.